over to London. One, two, a forty-six. And with that being said, we are opening up. And we're going to continue to open up the Bowman Blaster cards. The Bowman Blaster cards. So. Yeah, it's my lunch, man, so. Balagna. It's just not for lunch, it's for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And in between. So anyways, this is part two of 26, baseball kinks and a whole bunch of nothing. Glad you're not, well, you are here because you're watching this. And why am I always looking this way? I don't know. So anyways, why am I talking with my mouth open when I'm eating? I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, I go doing it again. All right, now I want to say I um I got down foods in the first part, first half the uh, segment, whatever you want to call it. I spoke about a, a good friend of mine, Don Foods. Uh, He's, a, he's a just, yeah, I can't say, I can't say enough good about Don. Don's awesome. Um, he was my spiritual advisor for a little while there, in a sense, you know. But you know me, I'm rogue. But I follow the spiritual ways he believes, in a sense. Because, you know, Don helped me turn over. I, you know, I, mean, I, I don't really tell him. I, I mean, how do I put this? <laughs> I never really told him that he did. He influenced me to start doing the right thing. I don't know. I just feel funny about that type of stuff. So I kind of keep it to myself. But uh, he kind of, you know, the, the, his spiritual ways, we'll say, um, in, uh, persuaded me, uh, made me a believer in some certain aspects of karma. So I'm not going to get too much into that because that's his personal business, my personal business, not yours. So anyways, but anyways, that doesn't take away from the fact he's an awesome guy. Don, you're awesome. Let me do that again. Don, you're awesome. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I will have some of his music, uh, number 27. I don't know, what the hell, my, what the hell is this, man? I don't know. It's a hand. Oh, okay. So anyways, but I'll have some of his stuff. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to download it, but I'm going to give you the information right now. Right now. Yeah, I'm looking at you. So anyways, I'm going to give it to you right now. Name of his new band, because he started out in, uh, well, he didn't start out in this band, but this was the band that I met him. Or no, I met him with, with the Bagman. Um, he's been, Don's been in a, he's got a history of music, man. Successful music at that. So... But I met him a long time ago, 1980, I want to say 1987, 87 or 88, 88, 1988, uh, he was with a band called The Bagmen, um, and they were awesome, I remember, oh man, well I remember, man, <laughs> do I remember, oh man, but anyways, it was The Bagmen, and then he went to The Spuds, and then, you know, Run Devil Run and Foose. And, and now he's got his new band. Um, but I remember his first band, Paralyzer. Remember that, Don? Paralyzer, huh? So, yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember. Um, man, there was a bunch of good bands back then. Uh, the Evils That Housewives Do. Um, uh, uh, what should I call it? False Hope. Oh, False Hope was my favorite. Greg Concassi, I went to school with Greg, the drummer. Uh... Awesome band. Well, who was I with at that time? Man, I don't even know. God, it was so long ago. 88? Oh, Infectious Agent. I was with an Infectious Agent. So, but anyways, it's not about me. It's about these guys. Anyways, the music, Die, uh, die Hard, Confront, all the good uh, uh, face value, which you're listening to right now in the background music. So, but, uh, there was just so many good bands back there. Band, you know what I'm saying? Um, Environmental Hazard, Spuds, um, 
I mean, there was just it's incredible. But anyways, let's get back to this. Don, he's got a new band. It's been he's had it for about four years now, 2016. It's uh, One Life All In. I'm gonna tell you right now, I, I, and no offense to the others, with the exception of, I really liked Run Devil Run a lot. So, um, I, I love the Spuds. The Spuds got my heart. But Run Devil Run for me was monumental. Um, so, but this new band, you know, semi new band, they have two albums out in, uh, in four years. But th uh, this album here is incredible. This album here is an absolutely incredible. Now, they're an American French band. Don's here in America and the rest of them are in <laughs> France. Uh, I, I do believe that's how it works. But I know Don's here. I know that for a fact. The other three, I'm not quite so sure about. I never met them. But I know at least two of them, if not all three, are in, they live in France. and They have to commute back and forth. But um, they have two albums. The A session. And then the, letter, and the second album, which is called The Letter of Forgiveness. Um... I listen to them both, and they're both... I can't say which is better. It's for you to decide. Um, but I recommend it highly that you listen. The next uh, segment 27, I will be playing their music. I already talked to Don, and I got permission from him. So, um, they've got... Um, there's two labels, I believe. Uh, which one is it? Uh, IMD One Life All In is one label. And then the other label is... Uh, Rust and Blood Records, I believe, or something like that. It's something like that. I can't really remember. I wrote it down, but then I didn't write that down, so I have to remember. Oh, also, I, I want to say this. Don wrote a book called Raw Life. If you go, you know, a vegan, this book is phenomenal. It's for you. It's not for me because I love beef. Red meat. <laughs> yes, I do. If it's, if it's, yeah, if it's, if it's not red, it ain't right. Damn it. <laughs> I like my bloody. So, but he wrote a book uh, called Raw Life. I highly recommend you download it, you know, through, uh, uh, download it or buy it, you know, whatever way you did. But you vegans will love it. And if you're vegan, you probably know of it already. So, um, but I highly recommend you look Don up on Facebook. Give him a shout, man. Give him say, hey, man, I heard about you on uh, Baseball Kingston and a whole bunch of nothing. Addy Show. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you do. All right, now that I wasted... Well, I didn't waste nothing. Woo! Oh. Um, so, with that being said, I highly recommend you... you you, you listen to them. You can download them for free. I know that. Um, I looked into that. So you won't leave me in trouble. Neither will I. <laughs> but, Don, I know you're going to watch this because I'm going to send you a copy of this. You're, you're, you're like one of my top fave five bros as far as the front man's conserved. You're number four. That's behind Freddie Mercury and David Bowie, mind you. <laughs> and Chino. Well, actually, you, you and Chino are kind of tied. So... Um, but anyways, I, I'm not here to compare apples and oranges. Dan, you're, I, I love you to death. I, I, there's not nothing within reason that I would not do for you. I'd give you the three shirts that I own off my back and whatever else, man. Just don't ask me for my Oreos or my Skittles or my Airheads. That won't happen. Now I'm just like, <laughs> no, I'm not. Anyways, um, but thank you, Don, for all your love that you've shown me over the years. Uh, what? Since 1988, you, you were cool right off the bat. It's you know. So, anyways, thank you for everything. And everybody, give him give him a shout out his uh, 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 Facebook page, Don Foos, F O O S E. He won't mind. So he won't mind. He's a he's a really nice guy. I mean, he's a dad. You can't say enough of good about him. But anyways, thank you, Don, for everything. All right, now we are gonna open another one. Now, I have two of these in a box still. See, I got them in the box. Okay. Brand new, still in the box. See? 
I got three actually, so we're gonna put one there. These two are going back in the box. I already said, someone's got a uh, part one. You gotta comment on what, you know, the crossroads. Do you, are you an overthinker? Um, and put the number 11 down and somebody will get the pack. I don't care where you're at in the world. I don't care if you're in the Philippines. Uh, I don't care if you're in Zaire, Africa. Wherever you're at, India, Egypt. Um, oh, man, damn fly flew in my eye. Shit. So anyways, I don't care where you're at in the world. Uh, uh, the Antarctica, I'll send it to you. Uh, it doesn't cost you a thing, man. Not a thing. Um, damn it. <laughs> like a little gnat or something. But anyways, um, I don't care where you're at, it's free. Subscribe, it's free. Comment, that's free. Um, uh, like or dislike, I'm not that guy that says push this button. I'm not that guy. You don't like you don't like it, you don't like it. Hit don't like. I'm not all for that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a I am, you know, wanting to get some ratings and get some viewers and get some subscribers, but it's about you, man. I, I can't sit here and, you know, say that I'm giving you this stuff for free because I want you to like me and subscribe because that's not what it is. I want to give it to you because maybe you deserve it. You know what I'm saying? You did pop your head in and see the show and be like, man, that sucks. That show blows, but you know what? I'm going to try to get that free Bowman pack or that Bowman box or the LeBron James, whatever I'm giving away for that, you know, segment. You could do that. I don't care. I don't mind. What I like is you took the time to at least not like me <laughs> or the show or whatever it is. You took the time and the effort and you put a comment in. That's all That's all that matters to me. You, you, you acknowledged my existence. That's more than some people do <laughs> in Cleveland. So, well, with that being said, so let's go to this and open this up here. And, uh, and I, Kingston's still not back. <laughs> I don't know where the hell he went. I just don't, I just don't know, man, where he went. I almost fell over. That's not funny, man. So, um, I don't know where he's at, man. He's, I, he's in the house. Well, I got a pretty big house here. You know, we got paranormal living here too in this house. Yeah, three people passed away in this house, and the last house that me and my roommate lived in uh, in Tremont, which is uh, Cleveland area, Cleveland, Ohio area. Um, at four, or was it four? We had four paranormal, four entities in that house. We got three here in this house. So the last five years, maybe going on five years, or no? Yeah, close. Or no, last four years, going on four years. Lived with seven ghosts, and these ones love the stairs. They love to run up and down the stairs, man. It's crazy. But anyways, enough of them. Enough of me. It's all about you. Remember that. Hey, Pumpkin. Hey, Maddie. I love you. Hey, Katie. Out there in the UK. I know you're representing, man. UK couldn't have a finer rep representative than little Katie. So, um, all right. So, here we go. Let's open these. All right. Oh, what do we got in here? We got something. Uh-oh, we got something good. In oh, man, we got something good. Yeah, we got some. See how? See how they? See how? See that right there? That's something good. That's what you want to see. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna get to it. So, we're gonna the first card. Louis Castillo. I've got this. I've got. I got. I got a couple of these actually. Nice card. Very nice card. All right. Ooh, I like this song too. Um. Hey. Who's this? Oh, hands are Alberto. I'm not too familiar with this player either. Now, if you see the card, except for the Indians, all the Indians are my daughter's cards. They don't. They go to her. Um. So, but you know, if you're a diehard, once again, there's a pos There's a good play. You know, there's a 50-50. I'll give you that much. So there's a possibility. So here we go. You'll get a, a, a Cleveland Indians card. If, you know. All right, uh, Mike Soroka. Now, I've seen this guy pitch, man, a couple times. Good. 
hide. And bam, here it is. Ha, <laughs> banger! Look at this, man. That little thing, you know, the little how it will separate, the reason it was separated. Look at this. Tyler Freeman, Cleveland Indians, man. It's a Bo Bowman Scouts Top 100 card. And this fucker is beautiful. Maddie, it's a Bowman Chrome, too, man. This ain't no joke, this card. Wow. Holy shit. Look at this, man. Look at that. Ah. Look at that, man. I'm speechless, man. I'm speechless. Wow, is this... Is this a, Tyler Freeman, if you're watching, and I know you're not, <laughs> you're awesome, man. Wow. Beautiful card. Bowman, I can't say enough good about Bowman, man. Oh, and then we've got um, Yankee. <laughs> no. Yeah. Anyways, it's his first Bowman, though. I'm going to give him props. And somebody's calling in. They're just going to have to wait. So, um, Antonio Cabello. Nice card, though. Very nice card. Except for the Yankee part. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> nice card, though. If you want it, you can definitely have it. All right. Zach Brown. Nice card. Very nice card. I like this. I like Milwaukee. I like that, that what they got going on, what they're trying to do, you know. So, all right, uh, um, Wilfred Astidello. I'm not too familiar with this player either, but it's a nice card. Um, oh, got another Chrome and another Yankee. <laughs> so Clark Schmidt. Never seen him pitch. Because he's a Yankee. I don't watch the Yankees. At all. At all. Nice card, though. Two Bowman Chromes, man. Both Yankees. <laughs> Another uh, first Bowman Chrome. Uh, Glenn Allen Hill Jr. Plays for the Diamondbacks. Oh, we got another! Okay, enough of him. We got another Cleveland Indian! Anger. Shane Bieber, man. I love you, Shane. You're awesome. Everybody got to get a piece of Shane. Watch him pitch, man. This kid's good. Not kid, this guy's good. Great card, man. Great card. Not because it's a Cleveland Indian, because it's a Cleveland Indian. That's why. Um, Cody Bellinger. You know who he plays for? Exactly, the Dodgers. Ooh, I like this part. Jeff McNeil. Okay. I. There we go. Jeff McNeil. Aha! All right, um, I'm going to cut it here and make a part three. Ha! So that's what I'm going to do. I'm in a good mood today, but I got a lot on my mind. So, and um, just because I can, just because it's my show, I can do what I want, I'm going to have another sandwich. I am going to have a steak, USDA choice beef sandwich. Steak sandwich, man. Oh, sure. No. No. I know this thing. That I know these 26s aren't the most interesting today, but I do for real have a lot on my mind, so. I'm going to be giving. You know what I'm going to do, man? I'm going to make it real interesting. I don't know how many of you guys are in them. Or ladies, or children, or whatever, you know, pre adolescents. Hoodlums, gangsters, whatever, are in a Japanation. I got something in my tooth, in my teeth. Yeah. 
That'll be there for a while. Anyways, I got something. I'm gonna give away in part three here. Uh, besides the Bowman, and this ain't got nothing to do with sports. It's got nothing to do with nothing. That's why it's called what? And what? And a whole what? Bunch of nothing. Right. So, with that being said, tune in. If you like Japanation, you're really going to like this. Because I got two of them. With that being said, peace. See you in part three. Over here. Over here.